Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week. This week we're answering a question sent in by listener Paul. He asks, Can a laser be deflected if there were a scenario where you wanted to direct a laser towards something but the moon got in the way? Good question, Paul. In the far-flung future, when we need to send messages out into the cosmos, we could do worse than using lasers. According to NASA, future laser communications will enable 10 to 100 times more data transmitted over the same time period back to Earth than current radio frequency systems. But what if there's something in the way? Well, perhaps gravity can help us out. Here to explain is the University of Southampton's Professor Michalis Zervas. On a cosmic scale, it is known that light, and therefore a laser beam, can be deflected or bent around a celestial body, like the Moon in this case, due to a fascinating effect called gravitational lensing. Massive objects like stars or galaxies warp the space-time around them, and this warping causes the path of light to curve as it passes near the celestial object. However, compared to stars and galaxies, the Moon has much, much smaller mass and, as a consequence, creates a very slight gravitational lensing effect. Therefore, its impact on laser beam bending, although theoretically present, it will be extremely subtle and typically not observable with current technologies. So, although it will be possible to deflect a high-power laser beam around and beyond a big star, or a galaxy, it cannot be done around the moon. Gravity's a no-go then, but what about man-made stuff like mirrors and special beams? To talk us through that, the University of Oxford's Professor Simon Hooker. Setting aside the problem of getting the mirrors in the right place and keeping them there, you'd find that they'd need to be very large. This is because the laser beam will naturally expand on its way to the moon due to a process known as diffraction. Paradoxically, first expanding the laser on Earth helps. But even if you launched a beam with a diameter of one meter, it would expand to nearly 200 meters on arriving at the moon. So you'd need to put some pretty big mirrors in space. Now something else you might try is a special kind of optical beam known as a Bessel beam. This can be made by passing a laser through a glass cone, which converts the beam to a conical beam. We can think of a conical beam as being made up of lots of beams, all heading from points around the rim of a circle to the axis of the glass cone. These beams all overlap at points along the axis to give a very bright central spot that looks just like a laser's beam at its focus. Now, Bessel beams have self-healing properties. This means that if an obstacle is placed in its way, the central bright spot will be blocked, but all of the laser light away from the axis will go around the object, and this can rebuild a bright central spot at points downstream. Could we use this self-healing property to project a beam through the moon? Well, in principle, yes, but at the moon, the diameter of the conical beam would need to be many times that of the moon. On Earth, the beam would need to be bigger still, which would be expensive and unwieldy. So, on balance, I think that it would be easier to wait a few days for the moon to move out of the way. Thanks very much to Paul for his question, and to Michalis Zervas and Simon Hooker for their answers. Next week, Homeschool Mama has emailed in with this query. How do you calculate the magnification amount of a small, clear marble? An interesting question, no doubt. And if you think you know the answer or have a question of your own, do email us. The email address is chris at nakedscientist.com or join us on the forum at nakedscientists.com forward slash forum. Question of the Week is part of the Naked Scientists podcast and supported by the Wellcome Trust and UK Fast. Look us up online at nakedscientists.com. Thank you.